the way that I see AI impacting SMEs in, in the not too distant future, I think first of all, what we need to do is understand what that term actually means. So in the session today, we spoke about augmented intelligence, which all augmented intelligence is, that's language used at IBM about cognitive, cognitive computing, and a lot of the speakers have said that. And cognitive is really just this idea of a system that learns to think and act and reason like a human. I think the most important part when SMEs think about this kind of stuff, they need to think about AI, not in terms of artificial intelligence, maybe not even in terms of augmented intelligence, but to think about it in terms of an IA, which is slightly different, just flip it around. So an intelligent assistant. So the only purpose of AI or IA technologies, cognitive technologies like IBM Watson that we showed today, is really just how do you do your job faster? How do you have the world's best assistant for whatever it is that you do by your side all the time? So my best advice would be, first of all, think about it in those terms. And secondly, take the advice of one of my favorite people in the industry. There's a guy called Kevin Kelly. He wrote a book called The Inevitable. It's well worth a read. It's called The 12 Technological Forces That Shape the Future. And what he says in the book is there's no business case for innovation. What you should do is perfect what you know. So if I'm an SME, I want to be investing in AI, IA, and understanding how that's going to impact my business. But none of that is going to help you if your sales and marketing and customer service isn't great. Because AI, when it's machine learning, that's only as good as the data that you put in. And if that's not good quality data, then nothing else matters. So innovate, yes, but perfect what you know first. That would be my best advice.